Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Bento Summer Extreme, your number one source for anime, J-Rock, video games, and Blizzard Entertainment news. As you can see, we have our boards primed and ready. This is our anime board and our video game board. So, this video is a segment for anime and J-Rock. Without further ado, let's jump right into Brian's hot anime news for this week. So this week is SakuraCon going on from Friday to Sunday, so it's going on today! So if you're in Seattle, you must be enjoying your con right now, probably. Um, Crunchyroll's there, a bunch of other major, um, pretty much industry guests are there, so impressing. So guys, go look at it if you're in the Seattle area. And if you're a beginner, go look at it, it's awesome, always going to a different con. Next of all, um, Shell and Jump from Japan, not America, has a camera app that you could make a magazine cover for themselves. Um, pretty much you take a picture of yourself, you change the color into more of a manga looking color and you get all different apps for like 250 different types of like things you can put on the background, Naruto, name it. And if you pay an extra dollar or 85 yen, you could actually get another thousand of it. So it's pretty cool. Um, one thing about it is that on Shell and Jump's uh, Facebook, they're actually having a contest where if you get the most likes, you might have a chance of winning yourself to be in their actually nice. magazine. Next of all, my Little Pony. I know it's a little kiddie show in America. It's not that great. However, in Japan, it's supposed to, it's doing well. This Tuesday, they're actually going to do a showing on on anime, and they're creating a manga for it. So it looks like they always do the kitsy stuff better at in Japan, actually. So that's it for anime news. What's going on in J-Rock? You guys, we have some really interesting news for J-Rock this week. First things first I want to talk about is one of my favorite bands called Alice 9. Now, as you guys know, they are a hardcore J-Rock band, Visual K band as well. Um, instead, they came up with a new album entitled Daybreak. They have a new style of music that breaks out of their confines and shadows of Visual K. Um, has a fluttering dance beat rhythm, more like a stutter step, but is very much rock oriented. Really go check, really awesome. Go check out the album if you can, guys. Next band I want to talk about is the Gazettes. Um, they have come out of the shadows. They've been really successful all over the world, not only in Japan. But they are going to plan a tour to Europe later this they, later this year in September. So far, the shows that are scheduled so far are uh, two shows in France, two shows in Germany, and one in Finland. More to be announced. Be sure to stay tuned on our channel and the Gazette for more information on what for, what further venues are are to be scheduled. And last but not least, JamieWorld.com does an excellent job with interviews. This one band, which I'm not too familiar with, they're called Kantoi. Uh, their next up and coming show will be. On, to take place on April 6th, so about six, about a week from now, at Tickle Show Con. It's a, it's a con here in America. Not too sure where it's located, but I'm sure if you guys Google it, you guys can find out. If I if I happen to find out, I'll be sure to Twitter it or put it on Facebook so you guys uh, can find out. If you guys are in the area, you guys definitely go check them out. Really awesome, guys. That's all the news that we have for this week for anime and J Rock. Be sure to always subscribe to our Facebook, subscribe to our Twitter. And make sure to um, also go on to our website and check out what kind of amazing things that we have. Well, guys, that's all we have for this week. Make sure to tune in to this week's segment of uh, anime. And, no, not anime, but oh. the other one, the other one. Oh, sorry, sorry. Video games. And Blizzard Entertainment News. And remember to always bend to your, your samurai, samurai to the extreme. extreme.